Hello YouTube and welcome back to how we are going to test um, how paint flows on these different types of wood. Now what I have here for our test today are four different types of wood. This is oak, this is pine, this is basswood for carving, and this is cherry. I have sanded these all down to 220 and in order for us to uh, replicate how paint would flow but do it in a much faster way we are going to use water. Okay, now normally if you're going to paint on wood, um, if uh, some kind of hobby thing that you're making or if you're going to be carving from basswood, let's say, you're going to pick up the acrylic paint that you'd get from your regular hobby store. Okay, this is definitely a lot wetter. This is acrylic paint, which is, um, it's like a pigment with plastic and water. And it's more wet than this type of acrylic paint that painters use on canvases. So this is a much thicker style of this. Okay. Normally when you're painting your hobby stuff, you would want to use this, but there are times where you can resort to this. For our test today, we are going to use water. Okay. And I have these lines that I burnt into the wood here to show us what wood burning can help do to help give you some accent lines and it can even help stop the paint from flowing through into the grain next door. Okay. You can see on this piece that I did out in the out, you know, a long time ago. This is just a practice piece, but I, all these dark lines are not paint. That was from a wood burner, okay? And it stopped the paint in each section from bleeding into the next section. So that, into the next section, excuse me. So that's what we're going to work on today. So bear with me as I do some close-ups, and we'll do some time-lapse of how long it takes the water to bleed through the grain. And I think you're going to notice the difference between this very open grain wood here, this oak, whether it's red or white oak, it's, you're going to get the same grain structure as opposed to cherry, which is very closed grain, okay? And in between you have the basswood and pine. Um, so sit tight and uh, we'll get to it. Okay, so my microphone stopped working halfway through this recording, so everything from here on out is a voiceover, so uh, you're going to start seeing my hand coming in and out uh, throughout the course of this, and it won't be corresponding with the things I say, so I apologize. I will do the best that I can here. Now you can see that this oak is really absorbing the water. The the burn line that I put in there did stop some of it, but obviously it's not going to be sufficient. So if you want to paint oak, you most likely don't want to use acrylic paints. Certainly don't want to get it wet. It's going to run with whatever paint you have in there. And it could mess up a, a pretty important project, especially after you've spent so much time working on it. So um, keep that in mind. We'll come up with some solutions here at the end of this video with some, some things that you can do to fix this. The pine, I'm sorry, it's kind of hard to see in the video because it is a white wood. Um, but it does a little better, okay? That burn line does stop the paint. If you can see, it will stop the water, excuse me, will stop the water from moving beyond. And you can see how far up it goes into the wood, and that burn line is stopping it from traveling down. Uh, you can see along the edge where the water is still moving a little bit. I know it's hard to see. Um, but it is there. So it is a pretty effective way of stopping it because you're just severing the top layer of those grains. And pine has a little bit of a tighter wood structure so it's not going to seep down into the wood as much and come back up, though it potentially still can happen. Uh, so keep that kind of thing in mind. Okay? Next is the basswood. So this is what mostly everyone uses for their carvings. Now I kind of wish I hadn't poured as much water onto the surface of it because this will tend to hold a lot of it on top. It doesn't soak it in as much as the pine, certainly not as much as the oak. So eventually what you'll see on the left side is a little bit spilled over the top of it. So don't consider that as a failure of the test. The burn line did stop the water. And it is a tight enough grain structure that it's not going to let it soak into the next section. Okay, so you can see that even you know roughly two minutes later, the water still hasn't soaked that far up, but it has not soaked down. 
um, eventually you'll start seeing it drip over the top but that's just because there's just an extra little bit of water on top so for your carving wood this is just another good perk for basswood it's just a great all-around wood for carving especially with its affordability last but not least we have our cherry now this is definitely a much tighter grain structure now you'll see on the right hand side I didn't burn that little section as well as I could have uh, my wood burner is not the best and um, but it's what I have to work with so what you're gonna see is that the gr it it does travel uh, fairly well up on the the piece of wood but they the burn line does stop it from heading I guess down into the wood from our perspective here and um, it's something to consider if you're going to be painting that it's not going to travel too far and a burn line is a good way of stopping that the, the acrylic based paints from moving through now looking back you see that some things here I've had some time to move if you get a look at that basswood you can see that line that I was mentioning before so if you want to paint especially on something like a carving the those hobby paints are really good the acrylic paints I don't hesitate to use them I, w I watered it down real well so you can still see the grain through the paint and it can make uh, for a really nice project and there's such a variety of colors and you can create something you can create a palette of paints that um, that you see artists using on their canvases you can do that on your wood projects so don't hesitate to do it and it's a, a great way to spice up any project that you have so yeah the wood burning helps accent things and it keeps the paint from going into the next section of your project um, of, you could do uh, other ways you could seal the wood completely before you paint it if that's a way you want to go so if you wanted to cover it in polyurethane if you wanted to shellac it even if you wanted to paint it with a latex primer you could do that those are all ways that you could do it this is one of the methods that you use and it's all going to depend on your project so i hope you enjoyed this and good luck in your projects if you have any questions or feedbacks um, about different ways of, of doing your painting projects let me know and uh, look forward to hearing from you thank you